Hi, today we are going to learn push down automata. The push down automata is a machine that accept context free language. And this push down automata is constructed with finite automata and memory. If we see the finite automata, in the finite automata, there was a tape. Finite automata. There was a tape, input tape symbols, where it changed the state according to reading the inputs. If, for example, it reads A, the, it was getting new states. For DFA, there was transition Q cross sigma that leads to Q. If Q is a state and A is input symbol, the new state you found, you get there, Q1. And Q0 is start state. But in the push down automata, PDA, there is extra memory. That should be read by finite control machine. There is a state. So in push down automata, there is a memory. That's why the language L equal to A e power N and B key power N such that N is greater than or equal to 1 is not regular. Why it is not regular? Because you require a memory that could count a number of A should be equal to number of B. And this is not possible in finite automata. Finite automata just take input and change the state. It could not memorize anything what is happened in la or previous section. So let's read push down automata. There are seven tuples in push down automata. These five tuples are as finite automata. Q is a finite set of state, sigma input symbol, transition function, start state, set of final states, and the memory part, the stack. Z0 is the bottom of a state and tau is a stack alphabets. So in the stack, there is a symbol in the bottom that we have taken as a Z0. It is a special symbol which mark as a bottom of stack. And tau is a symbol allowed in top of the stack. The number of symbols you use in the stack that is tau. There are two types of push down automata deterministic push down automata and non deterministic push down automata. For deterministic push down automata, the transition values are Q. The states should combine with the input symbol or epsilon and symbol allowed in top of this stack. After these three combinations, it generates the state, new state, and the symbols in the stack. What is important in push down automata is a stack, that is stack, memory. And in the stack we know there is operation of push and pop. There is another third operation is also used in push down automata, is replace. So let's understand PDA operation. Push down automata operation. There are two types of move. Two types of move in push down automata. The first move is it reads input symbol and top element 
of stack after reading input symbol and top element of stack it moves one position right and change the state so what is its meaning there is a input tape input tape mean input symbol and you read input symbol and if you are in q state and there is a top of stack is x and a is input so transition values q a input and x is the top of the stack so what may happen after reading this it may move one right the next state is for example q dash and the top of a stack will change from x to some y so first move in reading position automata is you read input you may change the position of reading symbol reading arrow and change the state as well as change the stack second move is empty move empty in empty move transition function says you do not read anything and there is a top of a stack x and you do not move you you read which is epsilon mean you are not reading any input symbol but you change the state and you may change the top of the stack or you may not change the top of the stack so push on automata says if for n pda q is the state you input symbol and combine with top of the stack you reach to the 2 to the power q cross tau closer this is a non deterministic push on automata this is deterministic push on automata and the most important thing is more maximum push on automata is non deterministic some other operation we can see in the push on automata is in each move following operation can be performed can be performed if delta is a transition function q a is a input symbol and z y this is present state this is present input symbol present input symbol z y is a symbols in the stack where z is the top of the stack and this left most value in the in tau is top of the stack as q is a state a reads an input a graphically you can understand in this way q is the state y and z top of it reads z q is the state it reads an input a as well as top of the set z what can be performed the first is it may add something in stack I mean after this operation if there is a b it may reach here and add something in stack y z and there is another symbol a this is push operation 
and this new state is few days. The first operation is you, re you reach a new state few days and uh, you add some symbol in stay and make it AZY. Second operation is that or you remove Z you remove Z so what will happen next state is Q days and the top of this state would be only Y this is remove operation that is pop this is push one extra operation is replace either you replace Z with another symbol X Q days X Y so these three operations will be performed in push down automata. So for push down automata, if there is a language L, A key power N and B key power N such that N is greater than or equal to 1. You have to create push down automata for this language. S similar to your finite automata, for example, you have assumed Q0 is the start state and you have first input you have taken as a because a key power n and z naught is the top of the stack it's mean q0 a and z naught is we have assumed z naught is the top of the stack first special symbol after this the transition would be a for the push number of a we will take it as a push operation next state would be q naught a z naught so a z naught now top of the stack is a if you graphically we see a q naught z naught was the top of the stack after reading a stack has one extra symbol that is a a z naught now stack has a z naught and state is same q0 input table and if we it takes b and top of this stack a it will perform pop operation it means it will remove top of the stack and goes to new state q1 and the number of b it will accept it will perform only pop operation so b a and epsilon read b top of the stack a and remove a Similarly, if number of A, it will accept if top of the stack A. So A and top of the stack A, it will be A A. I mean, if A is there again, you read A, then it will add to A. So after a same number of A and B, if you read epsilon I mean after some time if a a b b is there epsilon if you read epsilon it means you have to reach at the final state and a special symbol is qf that we have used as the bottom of the stack so the moment you will reach epsilon number of a equal to number of b it will say now you are in the final state so this is the PDA construction of a context free language a key power n and b key power n such that n is greater than or equal to 1. Thank you.